B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. During the 2024 Global Climate Action Forum held in Phnom Penh, the Security Token Offering Alliance and Carbon Credit Alliance were formed. A session highlighting the STO exchange and particularly the introduction of carbon credit STOs focused on sharing how this exchange can aid Cambodia to gradually reduce its overall carbon emissions while also deepening the country's capital markets. To, to tokenize a, a carbon uh, project, you have to verify it. So media only wants to verify, you list it, there's, there's more data available, there's assurance, there's transparency in the market. Which, which probably was a bit lacking in the, in the carbon market prior to, to, to the security token uh, initiative. So it's, it's, it's definitely a booming, booming uh, industry and something that uh, I, I, you know, we, I think uh, Cambodia should be looking into. In my case, as I'm Korean, um, there's already all the Korean banks in Cambodia already. And Koreans ought to uh, trust on mostly on Korean banks. And now as we have Korean banks here, it's really more easier to bring Korean investors to inside. And also, uh, as we have, we're, we we're preparing to use the fiat as a USD. So that makes more um, stable for the currency as well. And so, yeah, Cambodia is really best place for the finance area. And uh, as we are preparing with the collaboration at SERC, uh, we're looking forward to open the market and we hopefully um, make the very vitalized market for the carbon credit as well. And it is quite new uh, for Cambodian market, uh, STO exchange, uh, security token, that we, we fractionalize uh, the asset. And for this forum, we focus on the carbon credit. And uh, we now in the process uh, or in the stage of studying and researching uh, with the support from uh, yeah, Mr. Wong, Mr. Lee, uh, KS Green. <laughs> we work together uh, to study on that, uh, how we move this uh, project. We spoke with Kevin W. Lee, chairman of the W Foundation and co-CEO of KS Green, the company providing technical support to the Securities and Exchange Regulator of Cambodia to develop the STO exchange and introduce carbon credit STOs into the market, to learn more about how the exchange works and why it's now the right time to introduce this mechanism to the kingdom. Uh, STO, the means of the STO is security token offering. So it's not really different from um, the security, but using the blockchain technology as a technology. So um, this means that we can fractionize the real world asset to pieces that can bring even the individuals to invest from, from, less, uh, from $5. So little amount investment to the products that, that can cost a lot, like real estate, carbon credit. So Southeast Asia is now placed for the new lot of um, carbon credit projects and green green projects together. And that means a lot of carbon cre credit projects are being made. But this carbon credit is a little far from individuals. How to invest in it? Is it only for the companies? But there are incre uh, there keep increasing demand of from the individuals to also they want to invest in carbon credit. That can be a purpose of profit. That can be a purpose of um, devotion to the climate change. So, yeah, so as through this STO can bring the individuals together to collaborate as one for our uh, mutual goal, uh, net zero. Like countries like Korea, Singapore, we, uh, we have very numerous way of fundraising already. So, um, and each fundraising have the uh, security law and financial law, but making STO there is a lot of uh, some con contradiction to that already existing law. So we have to change that to start the STO market. But however, um, in some part, Cam Cambodia don't have uh, some law regulation that applying in Korea or Singapore. So that mean that um, expresses why we're, we can do much faster.